to put in a number of these videos on our Instagram. Um, we've had some comments about saying, how do you get your whippets, or dogs generally, to travel in your car and be happy to travel in your car? It seems like quite a few people are struggling, um, certainly when they've got a puppy, to get them used to travelling in the car, and they're howling and scared and even being travel sick. So um, we'll go through what we did and the experiences we had with our two and uh, travelling in the car and in the camper van. What was Rosie like when we first got her travelling in the car? She squawked and squawked and squawked. I've never heard a noise like it. I had to literally sit there with my fingers in my ears. <laughs> she wasn't happy, was she? She wasn't happy. She didn't know what was going on. Bless her. She absolutely loves it now, doesn't she? Yeah. In the car and in the camper van. She soon settled down after a few trips, didn't she? Yeah. Now, when we got Louis, Louis was a rehome. He'd had a number of homes before he come to us, and he had no problem whatsoever travelling in the car. In fact, we lived up uh, near Hull at the time, and we travelled all the way down to Milton Keynes to pick him up. And he sat on the back seat with Joe all the way back, and he was quite happy to travel in the car. And he loves travelling around in the camper van. He really enjoys being sat in the front seat, as you can see him here, clipped into his roofwear harness. So we can only presume that Louis had previously travelled in a vehicle in his past life and just got used to being out and about in cars and vans. He's never had a problem with it and he looks forward to getting out, particularly in the camper van, because he knows he's off for an adventure. The both travel in back of the car. We have a big bed in back of the car to make sure they're comfortable and they can see out the windows, which I think also helps. And as you can see here, they're very keen to get into the car because they're either known, knowing they're off to somewhere good for a, a run or a walk or an adventure or they're on the way home. And usually this is first thing in the morning or um, when they get home, they'll get a treat or they'll get some sort of uh, meal. It'll be mealtime for them. So they see the car as a good experience and they enjoy getting in the car to get to that experience legal requirement in the UK to have your dog secured or in a secured area within a vehicle when traveling so the cat disrupt the driver or get it if you have an accident the the safe as the possibly can be so Rosie generally travels in a cage in the camper van and Louis have a on the front seat clipped in which is legal because I did test it with the police I did go and see a police officer and ask if that was a legal way to travel with Louis and they accepted it but Rosie spends the time in a cage in, in the back of the camper van. This is the first day that we got Rosie. And this, she wasn't happy in this little crate on the way home. And she did howl all the way home. If Lou is travelling in the camper van and he's not on the front seat, he'll lay on the floor and it can be clipped into his harness while he lays on a bed on the floor of the camper van. But as I say, Rosie travels in a cage or a crate. And as you can see, she just falls asleep most of the time in there. She's very excited when she gets somewhere to wonder what her next experience is going to be, but she loves travelling in the camper van. So we need to make sure that the dogs are actually travelling to somewhere where they're going to enjoy. If the only trip they're ever going to in a vehicle, or the regular trip they go to in a vehicle, is to the vets, and our two don't like the vets, they're going to relate getting into a vehicle as a trip to the vets. So you want to make it a positive experience. Start with slow journeys to the beach or somewhere where the dogs are going to enjoy, like a run or a park or a long walk or chasing the ball or something, and then build it up from there onwards. But if the only trip they're ever going to do is a negative experience where they're going to be left somewhere without you or they're actually going to the vets, that's going to have a negative effect on their experience of getting into the vehicle. It's all about setting that positive experience for actually getting into the vehicle before the journey. Using treats in the back of a car or a camper van also helps. So put some treats in there so they're keen to get into the back of the car or in the camper van. And try to spend some time in the car with them. Sat with them on the back seat, even if you're not travelling. Just spend some time in the vehicle or the camper van with them. Our two love sat in on the bed in the back of the camper van as they are here, watching the well go by out the window having a treat. So the combination of things for us that really worked is being comfy, being familiar with the car, having a positive experience for travelling in the car, being able to see out the window, the use of treats, spending some time in there so the seat is a good place, all work for us.
do check out our daily updates on Instagram. Our Instagram is whip it one man and his. And we put something on there almost every day or more than once a day. I do hope that you found this useful and it helps with travelling with your whippet or dogs generally. If you do have any other suggestions or comments, please leave them below in this video. Because other people can actually pick up on those comments and you may have some other good ideas that's worked for you. Or some experiences that you've tried and that's really paid off. Thank you once again for watching and hope to see you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.